Animation Throwdown Squad, what up? Let's get into it. Today is the day that we do a couple of things that are going to be pretty fun. Uh, we are going to get into some arena battles with the musical deck, focusing on one man musical if I can ever hit it. Uh, then we are also going to get into some building up for the new clash which is coming up so we're going to do a deck build together i'll kind of show you what i'm working with and what we're looking at the uh, next clash coming up is a snow day clash so i'm going to put together what i have and, and kind of build with you guys let's see kind of get an update on our clan see what's going on here all right we're going to be able to get some a golden turd card today a greater epic stone pack today you know how good we did on those great ripics on packs last time, dude. Maybe we'll be lucky again. Let's get my musical deck out here. All right. I don't think we'll get enough to get two golden turd packs, but that's all right, girl. I see you tomorrow. There we go. So I hope everybody's doing good, man. I hope you guys are doing great. We have uh a whole bunch of new subs to shout out. What up, new subs? Welcome to the club. Let's start talking about them. Well, first off, I got to shout out my dude, Rob Duncan. Rob Duncan has been with our sub club for a while now. He's commented on a ton of videos, always been around since the beginning, but I never officially gave him a shout out, it looks like. I'm not sure. So, Rob Duncan, welcome to the sub club. You've been here for a long time, but you already know what's up, my dude. Uh, who else do we got? We got Augusta. Prasetya. I, I'm saying that with a Russian accent. I have no idea where you're from. Probably not Russia. But Augusta Prasetya. I'll throw some different accents out there. We'll see what it is. Welcome to the sub club. Uh, Jarvis Edios. All right. Jarvis Edios is the guy or girl. I'm not sure. Whoever puts the, put the Reddit combo maps out for the challenges that are coming up. So for the clash that comes up. You'll see that Jarvis throws out the combo map for everybody. So it's pretty awesome because it shows you, okay, this card plus this card equals this card for the Snow Clash. And that's pretty great. So I'll, thank you so much, Jarvis. Number one, for providing the service you provide for the game for all of us players. But also, number two, just for subscribing. Thank you. Next, we have iHunter766 Gaming. What's up, dude? I always love when other gamers subscribe to the channel because that shows me that uh, they're enjoying this gaming content, which for me is kind of saying, hey, you're doing a great job. As another gamer, I approve of you, good sir, which is pretty great. But aren't we all gamers if we're here? At least maybe a little bit, maybe passively, maybe aggressively, who knows? All right, next we have tane patterson it's tane or tyne or thane or something like that thane peterson welcome to the sub club then we have barack obama has subscribed you guys barack obama has subscribed barack obama thank you for subscribing to the sub club so glad you are here um <clears throat> and hopefully we can keep on making some great things for you guys if we can make obama proud then maybe we can make everybody proud i don't know we'll see what we can do here we'll just keep on chugging right along and doing what we do best before we get into the action let's go buy some stuff let's see what we can do let's go get us that golden turd card now on golden turd cards <clears throat> chance of a power card okay you can get a pc legendary pcs in this bad boy let's click our little eye down here and see our our odds Epic 40%, Epic Power Card 38%, Legendary 20%, Legendary Power Card 2%. So we got a pretty good shot here, but let's cross it up anyway. Cross those fingers up, Sub Club, let's go for it. Legendary, 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 Lois is piano. Ah, deflated. All right, let's go over here and get that Greater Epic Pack that we had. Always click the wrong thing first. Just kind of bounce around like a crazy person. Legendary, 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 legendary. Stan. Okay. Hopefully this isn't uh, indicative of how our day is going to go because that's a rough start. Super epic pack. Let's go for it. Ooh, legendary, 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 legendary. Francine. Uh-oh. I hit the highest of high notes on that one. And we still 
did not get a legendary. And that's pretty gross. Uh, we're running a musical BGE right now. Let's go ahead and buy one of these. We have... Oh, Snow Clash box, though. Freezer Dome Linda comes with it. What else we got here? Ooh, we got, it. we got a good question here. Oh, okay, look. This propane for my deck is the only one <clears throat> that gives me Frykowski. It's the only one. If I get propane, I can have Frykowski with my legendary fry, with my mythic fry in the clash. Hmm. Let's see here. Musical, how long is this BGE going on for? We still have 11 days of musical left, but the Clash is kind of where it's at. Let's go ahead and buy that Clash box. Let's just see what happens. Let's go for it. Snow Day Clash box. We earned up 200 gems. Let's go see what we get. Come on, baby. Let's get something good. Okay, okay, yep, 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 yep. Comes with it and chip. Oh, man. It's going to be a rough one today. Look at this. They can't all be bangers, right? All right. And let's see here. Oh, there we go. We got enough for a legendary now. Let's go get it. Fart School Jimmy Jr. All right. We've all got a lot of those, I think, if you've been playing it for a while. Seems like you get that one that's uh, pretty high on the odds. But that's all right. So let's go ahead and go to the arena. I'm going to run 10 matches with Musical, and we'll see how we do with these 10 straight. I've got Eugene Belcher. This is my only gene that i have i do not have a gene mythic uh at all so how far am i away from a gene mythic let's see here i am 210 uh stones away from that one so not even close but with the with the gene i do have one man musical a couple of times do 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 yeah, so I've got the one man musical on a single uh, combo mastery, but you can see it doesn't combo a lot of times. Troubadour Jeff, Roller Disco, Four Score, Karaoke, Nibbler, Fart School Jimmy Jr. Okay, Earl's Guitars, Courtney's Dad. You know what? It does combo a lot of times. I've already got 25 cards in here. Let's go take a look at the musical cards and see if we need to take any with me that aren't already here. Okay, these are pretty low. I'm not gonna do well in the uh, arena. I've got four score Courtney's dad, Earl's guitars, Fart School Jimmy or Jimmy Jr. I got three gifteds. I think we'll be okay with what we got. We'll go with this. So we're gonna go with this uh, this deck right here. Look at all those dancing pieces. That looks pretty cool. Looks like I know what I'm doing, right? With all those quad fuses. Look at this. Look at this. All right, let's see if it actually translates to something. I did get a request to do a one-man musical box, uh, or one-man musical deck in Arena. So this is my closest attempt at doing this because um, I have not been doing Arena much lately because once I learned that your rank in Clash is directly affected by your performance in Arena, I stopped. Once I, I was at like 2100 and I stopped and then for the Elite Card Master Challenge, I went all in on Arena and then it uh, it really destroyed my life, auto playing those battles and losing. Um, I went from 1900 or 1800 trophies all the way down to 900 and it was very sick. Okay, it looks like we have Gene coming out, but I don't have a combo for him yet. So what am I going to do first? I'm going to start off with Dale, and then I'm going to combo Dale up in that first slot. We'll see if we get an OMM for the second slot, a one-man musical for the second slot. Ooh, I like that one. Uh, but let's go ahead and go with Keyboardist Dale for slot one. I'll throw four score out in slot two. It's got a large HP, and it's got uh, the musical trait on it, which is good. And then for slot three, I'm going to throw out Fart School and just get that one out there to protect in slot three because we already got 36 health left. Okay, slot three, Martini Drunk will not KO, but there's a 15 bomb on that one, and Lila will KO slot two, so slot two is my focus. Slot two, this one will heal somebody next to him. It'll cripple for eight, motivate for 14. I love that. Four score is a fatty. <clears throat> That's a good one right there. And let's see if, uh, okay, gas class. Man, I'm not getting, oh, there's one oh, OMM right there. What am I tripping on? All right, well, let's do what we came here for. One-man musical going out. 
probably not the best of the best cards we could have played but it is while why we are here you ask me to play something i'm gonna do my best to do it for you guys so let's go ahead and get tree out there just because she's gonna heal slot two and that's what we want the most we want those heals to stay alive nightwolf 99 from elite saiyan warriors good match to you <clears throat> buenas noches senor all right we got a win there's one win down one out of ten we got the win look at this oh this has been happening a lot lately i'm not sure what's up with the connection it's either a slow connection or disconnecting all the time i'm not this is I, I don't know i can't explain it it's been happening a lot lately though all right here we go here as you guys know i always search for an opponent that i think i can beat i believe i can beat a level 12 deal this is bee poo from go buck yourself all right let's check out this musical hecker zoidberg is probably the lead on that one and then tuner is going to be the lead on that one so i'm going to start off with uh fart school for the gifted and we'll go heckler in slot one because he's got the craze so he can build <clears throat> Ooh, sickness a dual combo mastery bad tina that's a scary card um do I have anybody that has hijack? No hijackers. Okay. That's an 85 HP versus an 82 HP. 86 HP right there. And 80. Okay. I am going to throw Fart School Jimmy Jr. out in slot two. It's going to get the boost from the musical, which gives it the increased base health. Plus, I have the sturdy on there. So, I think it'll be stronger than throwing the, Tina, the Piggy out. Then, I'm going to throw Piggy. Right? No. No. I'm going to throw Hank because he's got the 24 punch, the 19 motivate, and the 28 gas. So, I'm going with that because I still don't have a hijacker. So, I can't steal her craze. But I can try to beat her up a little bit, which would be great. All tuning forks, so I'll just get Piggy out there and see what pops up. We took the win from B Poo. That's what's up. Go buck yourself was the clan he was from. The guild, excuse me. <clears throat> we call them guilds in this game, sir. All right, two battles, two wins. Who else can we beat? We are in Secret Fight Club. We're at 1734 right now. Uh, on the slow, slow climb back to the top. I think I can take a level 12 zap. I feel pretty good about it. Bruno 2021, but crows before H. All right, I got my fry out. Okay, not the best there. Dancing Zoidberg has a super high amount of heal. 19 punch, I likey. Uh, I do like the hijack here from Alley Entertainment, though. So I'm going to go ahead and put Earl's guitars out there. I'm going to see what they combo with. It's nothings. So I am going to throw out Alley Entertainment for those hijacks. And I'm going to steal the craze from Bobby. If he goes Secret Addicts, I'll steal that craze as well. Um, because an addicted card came out in slot two. And because that's addicted, and that's addicted, look at that. They're probably running a Secret Addicts deck. So hijack in slot one to steal their craze is going to be a, a good thing for me. Now, there are two cards out on me. So my strategy here <clears throat> is going to be to put a high HP out there for a power power card um i am gonna throw kiss and clarinet out there i don't quite need the heals yet from dance uh what's it called dance the zoidberg dancing one and the hijack on two is gonna steal their hijacked on jacked on there is cigarette addict so we were right cigarette addicts deck uh dual combo mastery but we're gonna steal all their craze which is great and whenever we play a power combo this alley entertainment is um Oh, sorry, that's not the boost. That's just jab. Okay. Retract that last statement there. All right, so for this, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and throw out Dance of Peace. That's what it was called, Dance of Peace for Zoidberg. We're going to hijack there in slot two. Keep on stealing that craze. Okay, looking good, looking good. Okay. 
Mm -mm. I'm gonna throw another dance of peace out here in slot four just because we're a little bit behind. I want to get ahead. There we go. Now we're ahead because uh, taking out slot one. So now I'm gonna put fart school out here in slot five. We're five slots out. Five slots out against Bruno. Uh, that's pretty tough. 2021. This guy's already in next year, man. That's crazy. We're stuck over here in 2020. We just started 2020. This dude's way ahead of us. Oh, this is looking good. We took out slot one, took out slot two, took out slot three. Slot four, we won't take out, but we're healing ourselves up pretty well. Looking extra good. Ooh, our slot one. Looks like that gas finally took over. And then we'll be able to combo somebody out here. Let's see who we want to get out there. I'd like to see some of the robot devil's hands. And we'll take the dub from Bruno 2021. Good match to you, my dude. All right, next one. Oh, man. Let's see who we got coming up next. Three battles today. We'll take them. Ooh, okay. Another 12, 12 zap. I'll take that. All right, Raji8 from Weeby Pirates. Ragi or Rogi 8 from Weeby Pirates. There's our one man musical. The reason we're here, we'll get that rocking. One man starting off in slot one. Okay, now slot two, because we're already down, I'm going to go ahead. If this is Ali, it's not Ali. Mm, none of those got heals. I'll throw Dance of Peace out there just to kind of try to be a little bit smart. Chamber of Understanding is a musical card. And. Uh, I kind of don't understand it, but I don't remember the episode that much enough to know. All right, uh, let's go ahead. I do want to get this Super Dance Squad out here. This this card is amazing. I wish I would have saved up Combo Mastery Stones to level this up because when this card comes out against me, I get KO'd every time. So I want to play it. I'm throwing that out there first. It does have a lower HP in the hand, but once it goes out, it has a higher HP than Fry does. So I'm getting that out there. Ooh, they got a high school bill. What should I do against High School Bill? I do like Super Dance Squad, but... I'm actually going to go Roger Goes Down because of the bomb and the heal. I want to keep slots 1 and 2 alive. Oh, One Man Musical is going to take the win in slot 1 anyway. That's what's up, dude. Look at that. 80 attack? What's up, baby? Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. I gotta say that that one in the musical built up quick. That was a fast build. All right, Nicole and Poot from Killer Care Bears. Okay, let's see here. This is a little bit of an ugly opening. Fart School for the Gifted is gonna go out first. Roger comes out. No. Hmm, I don't like either of those. I'm gonna do Alley Entertainment in slot two just to heal slot one for whatever we decide to combo with. Earl's Guitars comes out. Okay, I like this one a lot better. I'm going to throw Earl's Guitars out in slot three. Because I do like those combos that it's got. Let's see here. The 23 with the 12 bomb, which I love because it's in the middle of two cards. That's great. We have Poplar Jingle Fry, which is I. And I bet, and I bet. I'm going to go Roger Goes Down. Yeah, it's got the jab. It's got the bomb. It's got all that good stuff. All right, so for here, I'm going to go ahead and throw out Dance of Peace. So I get the bodyguard. I get that little bit of heal. But I've got a really big HP and a sturdy in case one of the musical comes out. It does come out. Not only does it come out, but it comes out hardcore, dual combo masteried. Uh, so let's see here. What's going to be the best move? This is why it builds so fast. 56 attack plus 26 craze. A hijack would have been a good move there. Um, 21 punch could help. We got to break through these first couple of cards. So let's focus over here. Let's do this. Because it's got the motivate for slot two, which is already going to take that second slot out. But it's also got punch, which could help us a little bit. We know we're going to get 25 damage in slot three, going directly to them. Uh, but slot four scares me the most because of their one man musical. That is very scary. Okay, 19. 27 with Roger goes down. We take the dub. Oh, man. That OMM was coming quick, too. There we go. Yeah, baby. 
I gotta shout out my man Magician Jay. So um, he left me a comment on Reddit that was super awesome. And so just to give the comment right back to him, he uh, complimented the videos, loved the memes of what we were doing. But I know I've told you guys before in the beginning when I first started making videos, um, I asked him for advice and he gave me all this advice on what to do and how to do it. And he defined the future of this channel just by giving me that advice. And so um, thank you so much, JSO, for, for being awesome and uh, making great videos, but also being humble enough to give me tips and advice on how to do it, man. I know that we have different styles and play it different, but you, in my eyes, you're the GOAT, man. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, I love doing this. I'm having so much fun making videos for y'all. But big shout out to JSO for the help in the beginning, for sure. All right, let's see here. What do we want to do, y'all? I would love some bomb here. She has a bomb one, but it's not those. Let's go ahead and throw out this fart school for the gifted. It's going to have my highest HP against that scary wingnut Leela, which I got to be smart about because she's coming now this philip j fry only has 13 health left but it's got 18 attack and i've only got 39 if that combos i could be screwed but if slot two and slot one get knocked out i could be screwed it looks like i have to combo slot two and take the risk that's what it looks like so that's what i'm gonna do I'm putting out Bobby because of the payback. Um, I'm getting a 20 motivate from slot one, so I should be able to KO uh, slot two right now. Didn't, oh, there's one HP. Mm. So if they can't, they didn't combo slot three, which I'm thankful for, but still I'm gonna take that damage straight on. We have 19 health left. Let's get far school for the gifted out there because it's our highest musical. Got it, bad fish from nordic t oh that was tough nordic t's they got good peeps over there all right man Whew, that was a little bit nerve-wracking all right that's six wins we're at 1785 level 11 zap I, I, i'm more scared of a level 11 zap than a 12 i don't know why i've told you guys these things those germans there's like man this is a good it's a good guild all right i'm a little a little nervous all right, this is 78 health with a 14 craze. This is a 71 health with a 13, so it's kind of a no-brainer to go Courtney's dad first. Looking for the combo with Peggy, unless something better comes out. 23 with a 23 punch. We don't build. Peggy builds, even though we don't have the punch. I'm going to go ahead and go Tuning Fork just so I can have a builder in slot one. There are two cards out on me, so I'm going Dance of Peace in slot two to get that power combo out there. Now, I'd like to get that Dream Guitar going unless I have the Power Choir Roger. But I do like that um, that uh, Roger goes down as well because of the heals and the bomb being between two cards. So I'm going to throw that out there. Okay, and K-pop is going to go best with... None of those, so let's get Kiss and Clarinet out there. Yo, Maestro from those Germans. What's up, dude? Oh, that was a match right there. Man, Musical is not my best deck. Uh, of course, I think for most of us, Addicted is a really good deck. Um, level 10 zap, scarier than an 11. 11 scarier than a 12. All right, Juice Blaster from Banimation. Okay, our opening looks pretty darn good. I really like this. Um, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so we're going four score because no matter what, we're going to make a good combo in slot one. Uh, I think we're going to get to show off the super dance squad here because uh, that is a great slot one combo. Not only does it have high sturdy, it's got the cheer off for every card you play after it. And then the craze is insane. So it's going to go really well here in slot one. All right. So slot two, Fart School Jimmy Jr. comes out looking for that one man musical. We'll get that out there. Juice Blaster. Um, we just got a really good hand dealt. Okay. Crap. <laughs> okay, I'm down. So I got to play a power combo there. Oh, man. Courtney's dad comes out. Okay. Whew. 
it got a little scary there it got a little scary but we made it through man that was close wow all right uh that's eight wins here we go a level 11 zap let's go do it teddy pools from glorious golden fill in the blank because i don't know what the last part is i think most people play us and they're like me love you purr what is the name of this guy's guild uh our guild is me love you prawn time that's who we are based off of a bob's burgers type name for the the sandwiches he makes uh every show when they show the uh burger board there's a different type of sandwich in bob's burgers so that's where our name came from and we're always looking for awesome fun people that uh play the game every day they're consistent and they like to um be in a clean uh friendly environment so that's what we kind of that's what we look for in our guild you're welcome to come on over join us and come party but if you join us we would really love it if you would participate in all rumbles all sieges make sure you do your best and we'll help you be great as well all right dream guitar in slot one dancing cans in slot two shoplift addict is a little scary over there but i think we're gonna be okay just because these musicals have super high hp and um i don't think shoplift addict is gonna be able to break through break us before we can break them i'm gonna throw alley entertainment out in slot three and that's the dub baby teddy pulls that's the dub right there that's what i'm talking about all right Let's see here level 11 zap i just keep on picking on zaps man i keep on picking all right chauncey from slurm loco all right let's see alley entertainment is a good opener there but they have a mythic gene now that is some scary sauce mythic gene in this combo could mean it's already over but i'm gonna throw out fart school jimmy jr to get the boost up front it's not OMM yet. <clears throat> I'm throwing Dale to get the hijack ready in case OMM does come out. Sickness. They have a 42 attack in slot two with Red Rodriguez to real. That's a little scary. I'm going to throw Fart School for the Gifted out there to motivate slot one to have musical in slot two. Oh, it's gross, dude. 22 attack in slot two. One of the musical comes out in slot one. I got 41 attack. That's going to knock out my 22 health in slot two. Sorry, that first 22 attack is in slot three. All right. What are we going to do? All right. Here's my hope. My hope is that I will cripple slot three. And I will not take those 22 damage. As well as they will not combo slot three. Now... There's nowhere else for them to play besides comboing slot three or playing out of slot four. So if they combo slot three, it's pretty much looking like we're going to take the L, which I really hope we don't. But let's see what happens. Oh, it's going to hit us for 37. That's going to be the L from Chauncey from Slurm Loco. Good match. Good match. Great deck. And we had nine wins nine wins you can see the silhouette back there you see it guys nine wins that was our 10th battle to go for a 10 win streak and look what happened we lost it all we lost it all <laughs> okay well um now let's build up this snow clash deck and get ready for the next clash coming up here on monday january 20th snow clash i've got a little bit of a build started here um i'm going to post up the combos right there splat out those are the combos that we're looking for with this snow clash so i am going to go through my deck see what i have see what's going to work best for me and then see what combos i need to research to be effective in this clash so starting off at the top left we're going to look at pq smooth peggy when you go to peggy that pq smooth is going to be focused on those toy combos so bouncy fun castle pq smooth 
PQ Smooth Peggy will make that one. Rupert Recalls, Wireless Audio Transmitter, all of those will make the PQ Smooth Peggy. Those are the ones I have in my decks. So that's what I'm going to be using. Um, they are all toy. And because toy is so new, uh, for those of us who don't drop a lot of coin on the game, we're not going to have these very high. Luckily, uh, it is a crazed card, which is looking pretty good. So I'm liking that one for my deck. Um, my recommendation is going to be to throw all of your toys in here that you can. So when you go to your deck, just filter out. Make sure you slide over the traits, hit your toy. And then whatever you got here that's going to be worth it for your level, throw it in your deck. So you'll see that I got my quad fused epic over here with Bouncy Fun Castle. Wireless audio transmitter. Rupert Recalls right there. I've got um, Bouncy Fun Castle, Dual Fuse, Bouncy Fun Castle, Dual Fuse. Later on, I'll quad fuse these, but for now, I want to have, I want to I be able to combo more often on those. So I've got those in there. You'll see that I'm running 25 total cards in my deck. And uh, let's see, characters. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight character cards. I've got... Uh, a lot of different traits in here. It looks like I have no power cards. So we could probably use another character in here, but just kind of going with what we got. All right, so that's what I'm running on Peggy. Grand Theft Auto Hank. He's going to combo up with Fantasy Figurines. I do not have that card. I do have Bouncy Fun Castle. I got uh, a, a few of those ready to rock. Chip, I don't have Legendary, but I do have in the Epic. Um, I haven't really seen much of an investment for me to go in on Chip, so I haven't. But, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I have Rupert Recalls, so I have that one in the deck already. And then uh, after that, those are all the toys that I have for Hank. Um, I'll be scrolling the combos throughout the video. Um, that way you guys can see exactly what combos are going to be with everyone. Even if I don't have them in my decks, so you can see them as you build your deck. So we can just build together and get ready for this clash. All right. And then Bobby is going to have VR Gaming Bobby. So Bouncy Fun Castle with that one. That's not the picture for Bouncy Fun Castle. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but it's Bouncy Fun Castle. That's not the picture either. Look at that. I love I love seeing those glitches. Uh, Rupert Recalls. And then those are all the ones I'm going to have in mind. So those are the same ones for Hank and for Peggy. Now notice this. The first three combos are Hank, Peggy, Bobby. So what does that tell you? You have three King of the Hill cards in this deck. So you can run a King of the Hill specific kind of run. Now later on we're going to see that you have uh, four Bob's Burgers cards. So it, that's... You know, that could be a little different as well. But two of them are Louise. So that's that's another change. All right, let's get into the next one. It's going to be Dating Game Steve. For me, I am not running Steve in my deck. I'll go to character and go over to American Dad. My Steve is a single uh, legendary Steve. So at a 36 HP, taking him into the battle for me is not going to be the best way to go. Um, I just don't. He's not big enough to compete at the level that i am at and so i don't want to take him in there even if he combos up with that dating game steve it's got 13 punch 50 health 12 attack it's not going to be worth it for me to try to run steve and try to hope on those combos because if i have a 36 hp steve i can't do anything with him if he can't combo out and i've got better options on on bobby piggy and hank already so not running steve uh but if he's great in your deck then you could run him with his combos yeah. um That'll be on the screen. All right, next up is going to be Louise. She's got Sledding Louise, which is going to be her Mythic combo. It's the only Mythic combo in the entire Clash that's going to be a power combo. It's got a 69 HP, which is going to which is going to be huge. It's got a 13 attack off the jump, 20 uh, heal off the jump. So Sledding Louise is going to be pretty gross uh, for this combo. So, Bouncy Fun Castle goes into Marionette Louise. That is not a power combo. So, these regular toy cards will not be power cards for Louise. Scrolling it down, scrolling it down. She's got two. She's got Sledding Louise and Freezer Dome Louise. So, you're going to be able to combo with her twice. If you have a lot of Louises, this is going to be a great clash for you. If you have multiple Louises, I'm not sure how you would say that. Louise I. If you have a, a gaggle of Louise then you will be doing really great in this uh in this clash but let's get down and let's look at sledding louise and freezer dome louise so freezer dome louise is going to come out with push-ups 
the toxic shock, the bazooka sharks. If you have the mythic bazooka sharks, that's going to be perfect for you. Uh, Millie's trampoline horse camp. All right. So you've got those for the uh, freezer dome Louise. Sledding Louise. Sledding Louise will be with uh, West Wing, Wongminster Mini Golf, Christian Skaters, Koha Public Golf Course. Uh, those three right there for what I have. And then, of course, there might be other ones for what you have. It might be a good idea for me to look at these cards that I have, the Wogminster Golf and the Christian Skaters and see if they're going to look good for my deck. But I'll have to see if that's going to be something worthwhile. Uh, that's both the Louise combos. Now, let's get into Linda. I don't think I'm running Linda in my deck. Her combo is going to be Freezer Dome Linda. So let's get over to her. She's a character for Bob's Burgers. And Linda. So I do have a dual fuse Linda Belcher. But when you look at her Freezer Dome Linda, for me, it's not going to run uh, that well in my deck. So I am not going to be running Linda in my deck just because she doesn't combo well for me for the cards that I have and uh, it won't be worth it for me to run her. So if she can combo well with you, the combos will be up here for uh, everything that Linda will be able to do in this combo under Freezer Dome Linda. But I just don't have her uh, well in my deck, so I won't be running her. You've got Eugene here for Freezer Dome Jean. So you've got Freezer Dome Linda, Louise, and Jean. All three of the Freezer Domes are able to go in this uh, in this clash here. For Freezer Dome, the combos are... For me, it's just going to be Horse Camp that I have in my deck. The other ones I don't have or don't have researched. But you can see the combos for you on who's going to be good for Freezer Dome Gene in your deck. All right, the next two combos are... Uh, one is going to be Bender, one's going to be Fry, but they're both Futurama. So for me, I am running Fry. However, the Frykowski card, the only one that combos... That would combo that was like a uh, legendary would be that Propane card. And I do not have that propane card. So I am running Fry, not because of Frykowski, just because he's a new uh, mythic for me and he's going to combo well with some other cards. And then Bender is great 34. I do have a lot of Benders, but Bender is going to be running um, the Bender is great 34, which it doesn't have combos that I have up here. When you have blue cards or green cards, I'm sorry, gray or green cards, I think you can combo for Bender. Uh, is great 34, but up here it doesn't. I don't think it combos. Let me see. So here's Bender is great 34. If you have that propane, it sets you up for the Frykowski and the Bender is great. Uh, so if you have multiple of that card, that's gonna look great for you. Otherwise, Burger Boss will get you it. Uh, Gamer will get you it. Um, Mom's. Home style X Cube 360. That was kind of hard to see with how small that font was. But those will all get you uh, that Bender is grade 34. The only one worth it fighting at a high level would be the propane. So if you don't have that, it might not be good to run. I personally am not running that. So because I have a limited deck for this Snow Clash, I have to complement my deck to fill it in with other cards that aren't just the, um, the athletics that are going to go with Sledding Louise, the toys that are going to go with the King of the Hill cards. I have to back up those cards. So what I do is I look at the, the characters that are already going to do great in the combo. And then I put cards in that are going to work well with those characters. Now I have Bobby, Hank, and Peggy. So I'm going to run Hypnotoad in here so I can have the uh, Cigarette Addicts combo for Bobby, for Hank, for Peggy. Because all three of those characters all combo off of that Cigarette Addicts card. So for me, Cigarette Addicts is going to be a strong lean-on for this deck to keep me relevant in... Um, participating in this one so i'm going to put in a bunch of addicted cards to complement the power cards that are in the deck keeping it at a minimum of 25 to hopefully get those super combos so for bobby peggy and hank i've got hypnotoad i've got 
uh, Human Horn, Langley Soft, Leon Petard two times. And that is it on there. So then we have um, Leela. Now, Leela I put in because of the athletic cards that we have in, because I do like her stressed out combo that she has with a toy card. Um, so when you come over here to wireless audio transmitter, we go down to Leela. You'll see stressed out Leela. And I love that craze on there. So I'm excited about that card. I'm going to go ahead and run Leela to have another character in there. You can see I have a real minimum amount of characters, which may not be the best idea. I may have to add more characters because I have so many um, just regular cards. And then up here, I've got Santa Bill. Now, this is why I'm running the Bill. Bill is going to be a strong support for me in this deck because he's going to have the motivate. He's going to have the heal all. He's going to heal everybody. He's going to motivate everybody. And I just got the Mythic Bill, so I'm super excited about adding him to my deck and kind of seeing what he can do. He's That's the main thing I'm putting in with him for those toy cards. Since I'm running as many toy cards as I can, I'm running that bill to be a support card for the rest of the deck that I'm going to be playing. Uh, I have Peter in here because Peter, his toy combination, I really love that Street Fighter Peter because of the punch, because of the shield. So check out Street Fighter Peter. That is a great combo that I would recommend running in this clash just because it's going to have that punch that's going to really do some great things. Even if you have a crappier card coming out next to it, that punch can get you started on a big fat 27 off the jump if you have a mythic Peter. If not, um, you can add some more in there. Most likely I'll add uh legendary copies of my mythic cards so i know i have several quad fused peters so what i'd probably do is if i needed more character cards if it's kind of if i'm running out then what i'll do is i'll come over here to these peters and i'll throw them in um, or if one of my cards is just not working like even if it's supposed to work it's just not looking good i'll pull that and then i'll put in peter instead so toxic shock i have that in there for louise i believe for the combo but if it doesn't work out and it's not worth it and that's the only combo she has then i might just pull louise pull toxic shock and then throw in a couple more peters to replace both of those and then you've got more odds of hitting that than you do with hitting um just this one combo so that is my full deck build for snow clash that is what i'm going to be running in this snow clash here um i have the disguise card in here because of peggy for Peggy, I've got none Peggy. So if she's not hitting the cigarette addicts, I've got disguise in here for her to go ahead and be a support card in between cards. So she's got a huge bomb that she runs with my mythic Peggy. 30 bomb in between two cards is going to be an absolute killer. So I threw her in also because of Fry. So because I have Fry in there, even though he's not making the super combo for the game, the Fry turns into uh, Fry and Robot Disguise. And I love that card. That's a really great card. Um, and I love playing it. But Borax Kid being disguised may not work out for me. Bazooka Sharks I have in here as well as the Mythic Bazooka Sharks uh, to go with the athletic combo for Louise. And we went through everything else. These are these are the other ath athletic cards that are in there. Um, so let's pull up one of those. Let's pull up Millie's Trampoline. All right, so I got Millie's Trampoline in here. It'll combo with Peter. It'll combo with everybody. Um, for Louise, it's Freezer Dome Louise. So I've got another option, Freezer Dome. Now, I'm putting a lot... There's a lot of combos that are matching up with Freezer Dome, which may not be the best way to go because I've only got one Louise, right? If I go to my regular character cards for Louise, I don't have... Um, a lot of other Louise is hanging out. <laughs> you know, that's it. All I got is the Mythic. So it's kind of everything being pushed into that. Now, so far, I've got 118 out of the 128 combos researched. So we always want to get our research going with the new VIP bonus that they're adding into the research slots. It is pretty cool because you get that discount uh, <clears throat> automatically. It must have just passed 12 o'clock. Oh, there we go. So... When you go to your research here in this slot one, they have the VIP research bonus. Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think I got to get some bills researched. Fries are good. I'm going to get some Hanks researched. Let's get Hank for uh, Toxic Shock. Let's do Bill for Borax. Get him a disguise combo. And then who else? Lila's good. We should be good. Peg, it should be good. Peter should be good. Let's get Peter with 
Uh, let's go bazooka sharks on Peter. We'll get those rocking out there. Doo -doo. Yeah, this VIP ad bonus is pretty dope. It turns a 24 hour research into a nine hour and 40 minute, which uh, I am down with that. So why not? You know what? I need to do the bouncy fun because that's actually going to be a big. Ooh, that was dumb. I shouldn't use the eight hour on there. I should use six hours. Just lost two hours. It's okay though. Toxic shock. Then we'll use one eight hour. And then we'll use two of the one hours. So before I clash, I'll go through and I'll save all my research stuff up until I'm building a deck for something. And then I'll go through and just build that specific deck. Um, I don't really just buy stuff for arena because arena you know who knows who knows what you're going to face out there and if you don't have a deck that's already going to kill it it's kind of a shot in the dark i like going in on the clashes because the clashes i can get big rewards um i love you know earning the mythic cards it's it's pretty awesome so that's why i'll go in more on a clash investing in these uh researches than anything else more than anything else All right, so that is the full deck build. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, checking everything out. Thank you guys for joining the club. Big shout outs to Rob Duncan. Thank you for always being so um, active and participating, commenting on all the videos, giving me ideas, asking questions. I love it. Augusta Presieta, Jarvis Adios, iHunter766, Dane Peterson, and Barack Obama salute to all of you thank you for watching subbing and loving the videos my name is didactic coast games and until next time you guys <gasps> keep on being awesome and i'll see you then bye